good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening there has been a clamor to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game the uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic the car parks are full there is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement one glance and you know where we are it is one of the most recognizable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion well if you did just miss it we are up and running already who do you jim see making the difference here well, Witzel is an interesting character. He won't back down from the challenge thanks to his, his combative nature. And he's happy to give it to the more capable attacking talent. Uh, he'll be looking to assert a physical authority on this game. So, yeah, he can be a real force. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Played down the flank. Aimed in towards the centre. And that is not finding anyone. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. been a rather gentle affair so far big chance oh he did the hard part right but fluffed the finish that's a real shame peter because it was beautifully worked took the defense out of the picture but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay Cortez plays it forward matuidi And here's Suarez, cuts it out. Taliska. Sporting, still to register a shot on target. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And it's Witzel. Shoots! Madrid with a free kick. We have the first dead ball situation of the game, promising one. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. Taliska! Oh, it's come off the upright. Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Well, the look on his face says it all. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Taliska goes looking. Oh, red, he sorted that out. And here's Rafa Silva. Lovely feet. And here's Suarez. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that.
it out wide. Oh, that's neat. Hoists it forward. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Matuidi drives it forward. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. He's got the ball, he's got the space. It's got through, and... Now it's Luis Suarez. Hit long and direct, cut out in the nick of time. And more than happy to take the muscular approach. Matuidi. Matuidi. And it's played forward. And here's Rafa Silva. Matuidi. And here's Suarez. That is terrific skill. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And the first half is done. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not going to want to try. Interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Sporting can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. That's a hit! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Now it's Luis Suarez. Now a chance to break. Now it's Luis Suarez. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. That's a good ball to find him. Suarez is flagged offside. Witzel. Just brushed off the ball there. And here's Suarez. He's got options out wide. He's got away. 
He's had a shot. And yes, it's there. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Sporting get themselves into the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Fred. We can assume that they've been instructed by the boss to, to stay in attack. They're just looking to break, aren't they? Yeah, the key now is just to get the ball to them as soon as possible. Matuidi, quarter of an hour into the second half. Your impression so far, Jim? Yeah, the ride is still a bit bumpy, Peter, so they're chasing the cushion of a second goal. Now it's Lu Luis Suarez! He's looking to get the... Oh, that is asking for trouble! And that has been cleared. And here's Suarez. It's Luis Suarez! Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Sanchez. Wasted clear. And here's Rafa Silva. Oh, that's nice. And it's Matuidi. He's had a look. Forward it goes. And now the breakaway. Time and again they are repelled. Rafa Silva tries to stroke it through. And it's Rodrigo. Tries to dink it in. It's out for a goal kick. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Decent progress down the left. Witzel. A real chance if he can get through. Madrid are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Now it's Luis Suarez, looks to thread it through. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Oh, 
of what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Madrid need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Rafa Silva provides an outlet. A really good feat from him. Cleared without complication. Sporting just have to run down the clock. And that's it. Sporting hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them, they upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.